this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am playing the battle mini game, and it's been a uh, it's been quite a while since I played the the battle mini game. So two reasons why I'm doing this video. One is because it's been quite a while since I played the battle mini game, and I fancied it jumping online and having a go. And it's also kind of a, a bit of a of a special sad video because it's a little bit of a of a farewell to the uh, Nintendo Switch edition. Um, basically, well, Minecraft uh, Switch edition. Basically, if you don't know, they have said that they're no longer uh, going to be supporting this version. You can still play it if you have it, uh, but you can't uh, download it or, you know, buy it from the store if you don't have it. And also, it's not going to be getting any more updates. So every time you load up the game, it tries to, to get you to download the new Bedrock version of the, the game. So uh, gradually, there's going to be less and less people playing this game. So <laughs> probably in not a very long time, it's going to be very difficult or impossible to, to play online uh, on any of the, the mini games. So I thought, why not have a special farewell to the, the Nintendo Switch edition and I'll be honest I didn't really play the uh, online mini games very much on the, the Switch uh, just because normally if I'm um, you know like away somewhere I don't have the internet so I would be just kind of playing offline or kind of with people locally but I did use the Nintendo uh, Switch edition a whole load it like completely changed the, the way that I plan and design things I was able just to take Minecraft on the, the road and kind of work out exactly what I wanted to, to do for, for my mini games and before that uh, I used the, uh, the PlayStation Vita edition which is still really good and I'm going to be going back to, to using that but it was just so good just to you know to be playing something you know on the train or something and designing and then I can just kind of put it straight into the the dock and kind of take screenshots of it or record quick videos of it and stuff it basically completely revolutionized the the way that I play Minecraft sadly uh, that is going to be going soon because once the uh, aquatic update comes out uh, this version is going to be kind of a, a little bit obsolete and so it's going to be hard to continue playing it and I want those arrows I want those arrows give me those arrows right <laughs> let's go grab these arrows so uh, yeah, it is going to be very sad, but I've had an amazing time with it, and I'm sure I'm going to still kind of play the, the Switch edition every now and then just for, for fun. And there's someone right above me. Oh, <laughs> they're going to go. Oh, they're going to shoot arrows at me. Well, let's see if I can knock them down. I I'm probably just going to knock them back up. Tell you what, let's see if we can get the, the high ground for them. I'm going to be a little bit rusty, just to, to warn you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you were. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, let's just go. Let's go TNT crazy. I'd love to take someone out with TNT. Like, I never, ever take anyone out with TNT. I'd love to be able to do it. I might have damaged him a bit with TNT. Who knows? I'm now hitting him with a potion so that was a uh, not the the most thing oh no guru let's have the healing let's have the healing and let's run away this has been literally the worst start to a battle mini game ever i do believe that was rather embarrassing i kind of wish i could take that back but hey let's uh, <laughs> keep on going it's good to start bad and then improve it's always good to to give your yourself room to to improve and i've pretty much uh, got my health back up now that person they're still kind of uh, having a, a bit of an angry look at me and uh, a stare with their bow and arrow so let's uh, try and keep it away from uh, from them if we can. Another reason uh, why I might not play so well is because uh, on the, the Switch, they kind of changed the controls just a tiny bit. So when you're playing the game, it's the, the same, but for the menus in terms of how you like go back on the menus and how you uh, kind of uh, do certain uh, interactions, uh, basically is slightly different to the other versions. And of course, I've been playing them so, so much. Like I have it kind of imprinted into my brain what buttons to, to press to kind of, uh, you know, close chests and stuff. So some of those stuff I might do wrong as well. So if if that happens, just bear in mind I have a, a pretty decent excuse. Like, sometimes I make some bad excuses for, for my mistakes. Sometimes it's just me being silly. But sometimes I have a, a pretty fair enough excuse. And I think uh, this is one of those circumstances where I have a, a pretty good reason <laughs> for, for at least messing up uh, in that area. Quite a lot of people in the game, actually. I'm just playing this on a, on a random uh, weeknight uh, as well. And uh, I was expecting to, to have to, to wait a while to, to find the game. But I guess there's uh, quite a few people that have decided to, to kind of carry on uh, playing the, the Switch uh, edition. Uh, as well. Uh, and uh, which is good. It means that I have some some people to, to go up against and to to, to go into to combat with. And I forgot just how much fun the, the battle mini game is. I haven't bothered buying any of the, the DLC. I don't even know what DLC there is uh, on the, the Switch edition. Uh, so we are just going to have the, um, the the default maps. But I think that's kind of good for this kind of like special farewell video when we're we're looking back. It's going to be nice just to to guaranteed be getting some of the, the classic maps. Like I could do with a good game of Cove or Cavern or something. They are just some absolutely incredible map. And almost this. What am I, what's, hold X, what is this? Hold X to view? What am I, what am I viewing? I don't know, oh, was that, was that a trophy or, or like a, an achievement or something? I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I held X, but nothing happened. <laughs> that was weird. Right then, let's, uh, let's go and grab some of these potions. Oh, I'm down to a 1v1, I believe. Um, 
Uh, yeah, which is uh, a little bit unexpected considering how bad the, the start was. I did uh, assume that I was going to, to immediately fail at the, the beginning. I got some pretty good stuff. It's not anything uh, amazing, but I got some okay things at hand. Let's just go and uh, switch around some of these arrows and we're now in showdown time, right? Where are they? Where are they? Let's uh, let's get right into the, the middle here. We can see whether there's any goodies in the, the chest. Aha, they seem to be really far away, which means I can take a little bit of time just looting and uh, making sure I grab all of the, the best things uh, from the, the chest. There's an iron helmet here. So let's go and put that on. And then, right, I think we should be just about ready to, to go into to battle. And there's only about 40 seconds left. And uh, I think I should hopefully be able to win just by the, the damage I've done. But that's never a good way to win. That's always an anticlimactic way. And for a ninja cat, they're not being very sneaky, are they? Just standing out in the open. Oh, they do have an enchanted bow, though. So I'm going to have to try and dodge them. But they are stuck right in the corner in the water. They had no chance. And Stampy was able to, to win. You may have noticed that I am uh, not playing. Oh, no, I made them leave the game. I feel bad now. I'm sorry, ninja cat. You were incredible. And you were the only other person left in the game at the end. So you did better than everyone else in the, the game, apart from me so you can take that away ninja cat in the the chances that you're watching this but yeah i'm not playing as a stampy cat uh sadly one of the big reasons why uh, i haven't done many videos on the the switch edition is they don't have the the stampy skin the, the, the fidget skin is the uh, the official name for, for it. Uh, and uh, yeah, they don't have it on the, the Switch edition. So I make do and I play as a, as Cat Mario because at least I am a cat. And seeing as it is on the, the Nintendo console, being Mario seems to be very fitting. And here we have a, a Luke Skywalker with a Yoda <laughs> in his backpack and an Edelman as well. That skin is amazing. Look how thin Yoda's head is. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? It's like a, like a cardboard cutout of Yoda. And oh, we can vote for maps, can't we? Of course we can vote for maps. I uh, won't vote for Cove. Oh, we don't want to do Valley again. Let's vote for, for Cove then. I always hate doing the, the same map. Like, a lot of people have, like, their favorite map, and they just play it again and again and again. And it's like, okay, I like Valley. Valley's a good map. Thumbs up for Valley. But let's have a, a go on a, another map. And Cove is an incredible map. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. And one... That seemed to always get voted at the, the beginning, uh, but since they added all of the, the DLC and added all of the, the other maps, it just doesn't uh, come up uh, as regularly, mainly because it's normally only shrunk <laughs> that people vote for. So this is going to be a, a good chance uh, to, to go back. Oh, it's going to be confusing as well. We've got a bunch of Endermen in suits. All right, let's grab some stuff there. Oh, that was a nice start there. I got loads and loads of harming potions, which is a really great thing to, to start off, off with. Uh, the only problem is, is of course, that... um. It takes up so much of your oh, hello. It takes up so much of your of your inventory that like it can sometimes be bad in that way. And all oh, they have some harming potions as well. So let's play this uh, a little bit safe. Oh, okay, okay. This is dangerous. This is bad. I got taken out. That was that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. So I was trying to not waste all of my harming potions because I was thinking, oh, they don't really have very much. I won't need to use all of them. But they had loads themselves, and they absolutely destroyed me. That was outrageous. But Never fear, because I will be back in the, the next round to, to try and get revenge on what was their name. I got I got my eye on you, Guy. Oh, what are they called? Guy. Stay still. Stay still. I want to read your name. Guy. 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 Garadoso. Gar oh, was it Garados? Garados. Garados. Stop jumping, Gary. Okay, I am going to go in the next round and try and hunt down Garadoso. <laughs> or whatever their name might be. <laughs> Okay, that round just ended. Uh, Gyarados actually ended up winning it. And it was Gyarados, by the way. I just couldn't read it. Uh, it was just their name bouncing up and down all over the place. But as you can see, they won. That was rather embarrassing for me. And now I'm being one of those people that vote for the, the same map in the row. Just because I didn't get to play in the last map properly. I was taken out straight away. Only because of my own stupidity. I wish I could write that from the, the record book. I mean, I could just edit it out the video. But no, I will be honest. I will be fair. I can't just show you my glorious moments. And the glorious moments will shine bright when surrounded by all of the dull, bleak moments of my failures. God, it sounds like a poem. I was like, oh, I'm a modern-day Minecraft Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love when you say something that unexpectedly sounds like something way better than you intended it to, to sound like. Anyway, let's hope we can play better than I expect her to play. Right, let's get some good stuff. There we go. I got a sword to start with. None of those silly... Oh, I'm blocking the chest. Oh, you know what? 
You know what? That was pretty awesome because there was someone underneath me frantically clawing at that chest to try and open it. And I was just standing on it. And my big fat body was basically blocking them from being able to, to open it. And then they kind of gave up and I jumped off and I was able to, to get it. That was actually rather incredible. Right, let's have a regeneration potion. So that's just going to be putting my health up. To be fair, that was me probably being a little bit over eager considering I'm against Luke Skywalker with a... um. Uh, a fishing rod <laughs> who was uh, attacking me. I mean, okay, sure, it's Luke Skywalker. He's a tough Jedi and all that, but he's attacking me with a um, with a fishing rod. So uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting him to, to do too much uh, against me, but I was able to, to get some diamond boots from, uh, from him, which is very important because uh, it's the only armor I have. I mean, if you're going to have any armor, it might as well be diamond armor, but still, I would definitely prefer to have a lot more. And they have a diamond sword. Let me uh, change direction and uh, run this way. And oh, there's a sneaky hidden chest down here. The problem with... Oh, okay, please don't see me. Please don't see me. I need to get this bow. Please don't see me. Are we good? Are we... Oh, hello. Okay. Are we okay? Let's just grab this. Are we okay? We are okay. Let's switch this round. Are we still okay? Can I, can I loot the, the chest again? Let's get rid of the fire resistance and let's grab a poison potion. Okay. Are we good? We good. Okay, I was re I'm really scared to get ambushed while I was looting that chest, but it looks like uh, looks like we're okay. <laughs> right, I'm uh, feeling a little bit more brave now. Now I got this uh, this poison potion. Uh, it's a really nice combo to, to kind of poison them and then kind of keep pinging them back with the the bow and do a load of damage uh, uh, that way. Uh, I got a little bit more. Oh, I got loads more armor. I'm gonna say a little bit more armor. I got loads more armor. Not the best armor. It's not like I got a full set of diamond armor or anything, but I mean that's kind of unrealistic expectations in the the battle mini game. This chest down here. I'm I'm going to give up the, the high ground to, to go for it because it has been refilled a, a few times. Uh, nothing incredible in there. There might have been some minor upgrades to, to my armor, but nothing risk getting ambushed for uh, to, to go and try and loot through that chest. Uh, got some more arrows and things uh, from inside of that chest uh, there. There are two people left inside of the game. I have not been keeping track with the uh, the Garados brothers uh, to see <laughs> uh, whether they're both still inside of the, the game. Uh, I can go and get, put my bows in my hand, uh, basically just to, to clear up some some more space in my inventory. And basically, it's going to be a case of trying to, to spot the, the enemies before they spot me and getting any bonus loot that I can uh, in the, the meantime as well. I might grab there's a, a lingering harming potion down here, which is good because a lot of people do like chilling out in the, the center of this map. It's a very powerful position to, to be in and if I can throw down my my lingering potion just down in the the middle uh, then basically I can kind of make it so no one can go anywhere in that area and this guy is pushing up on me let's put the the lingering harming down there to keep them out of the the way because uh, there's someone else over in this direction and uh, all of these people have loads of iron armor which is a, a little bit scary for me and oh okay they have a shovel as well I do not want to I don't want to take this fight I want to I want to get out of here actually <laughs> let's go and try back off I got my uh, potion of poison at hand in case they chased and they are and oh no I, I think oh I poison myself I poison myself that is ridiculous right let's have this potion of uh, of healing uh, to kind of boost myself up a little bit uh, there's a potion of weakness on to, to them but I th I don't know if they're teamed up or not I'm not sure if they if they are uh, they might not be uh, but they yeah they're both kind of quite close to me so let's uh, just try and run out of the, the way I do need to, to eat let's try and make these uh, these jumps and then hopefully they won't make the, the jumps and I can go and get my, my health back up are they uh, no I think I think they are going after each other by the the looks of things so let's let them get each other weak and then hopefully i can kind of run in and uh, and try and just finish off uh, whoever ends up being left from uh, from that battle over there okay yep they are really going at it they are really going at it this was the the victor uh it's garados is it garados i think it's garados i know they set me on fire let's go down into the the water then if they're going to be setting me on uh, on fire i do have a poison arrow which i will get to once i've uh, fired through all of my other arrows i am incredibly weak though and i think they uh, must be weaker as well because they immediately ran away but I think if they knew just how weak I was uh, they would have continued uh, to engage but this player is a mighty good player they have a better melee weapon than me as well so I'd love to, to get an upgrade from this chest if I can sadly I didn't but I did get uh, an enchanted bow so that might be my my best luck uh, the big question though is who has done the most damage in the game because it looks like uh, it might be going down to, to time here well we have 20 seconds left so we do have time for for one last fight let's see if i can hit some them with some fire arrows or oh, that was good that was some good entry damage by me there i really wish i hit that shot as well though because as soon as we get close range they are going to have the the big advantage we're down to a few seconds left i'm just going to stay in the water here uh, just so then that way um if i get set on fire and no 
They won again! They must have, I thought I might be been okay because I completely took someone out. I took out Luke Skywalker. Then I did a lot of damage to them. I guess they did a lot. What was the difference? Uh, it was 72 inflicted from them and 54 from me. Garados again! They're an awesome player. This, I, I love this. I love this. Because sometimes when I'm playing the battle mini games, like it's a very mixed bag for the, you know, the type of people that you're playing against. A lot of people, they might not have played it very much. Or, you know, they might be kind of new to it and checking it out or maybe don't know the maps and stuff. And sometimes, you know, you kind of just feel a bit mean, you know, for, for taking them out. But I do not feel like that today. I feel like I have a worthy competitor. This is amazing. Right. Uh, oh, come on. We've done Cobra, man. Let's do, let's do, can we do a cavern? Can I just, can I, can we do a cavern? What about cavern? Throwing out a cavern. Okay, so it's one, one vote for, for those three maps there. Someone can be the decider. If someone else realizes about the, the voting screen, someone, I bet someone else is going to vote for Crucible now, aren't they? It's just going to be <laughs> completely random for what map we end up with. So I believe it just do, does do it random when everyone's like, like it's, it's split between three. I do believe it is just a random selection and Valley was the, the winner, all of the, the same. I'm okay with Valley. I'm just, I just don't know where the chests are very well with, uh, with Valley. I feel like I, I know it a little bit better uh, with some of the, the other maps. Uh, but I'm okay. I mean, I wa last time we played Valley, I won. So <laughs> I can't be that bad at playing Valley. So I am going to be more than happy to, to go and give this uh, another go. And I just want to go. I want to get Gyarados. I don't care about anyone. I just want to be Gyarados. <laughs> I'm so competitive. I'm so stupidly competitive for no reason. And oh, no, I didn't get anything. Oh, okay, okay. I got one chest. I got one chest. But someone uh, was able to, to get two chests there. And they're going to have a big advantage. Let me go and, uh, and try and back off straight away. Uh, looks like I'm not being... Oh, no. I I thought I wasn't being chased up this ladder, but it looks like I might be being chased up this ladder. Are they still coming? Are they? Oh, they are. They are. Let's see if we can, uh, we can knock them out. Oh, they did set me on fire, which was um unpleasant. I do have a bow and arrow, so I can hit them uh, a little bit and then try and scare them off. There we go. I was able to, to take them out. And they had a surprising amount of, uh, of loot. I mean, they had all these harming poachers. I think they were doing like what I did in that round, that really embarrassing round where I think they were just saving all of their stuff and didn't actually end up uh, uh, using it when they, uh, when they should have. But that worked out rather nicely for me. Still zero armor and only... Only a wooden axe as my main melee weapon, so I mean I'm not celebrating at this point. Like things aren't going amazingly, but they could be going worse. That is for sure. Let's drop my axe for a second, uh, just to to grab some of these uh, slowness arrows, and then we can go and put them here, so I can slow some people down if I'm getting chased. Uh, slowness po um, arrows are great, uh, by the way, in the battle mini game. Like a lot of people uh, really like the the poison ones and stuff, uh, or the the fire ones. Uh, but slowness is great because you can uh, kind of keep knocking people back. As they're, as they're charging after you, uh, which is great because that's kind of one of the best things about bow and arrows is you can kind of keep your, your opponents at arm length, uh, which is very important. Can I make that jump? I don't know if that jump's possible to get onto the, the dragon there because someone was chasing around. Oh, look at them all the way at the top there. Is that Gyarados? I think that might be Gyarados and they have a lot of potions, but they don't have very much armor. They seem to be in a, a pretty similar situation to be in. Oh! From downtown! Oh, that felt good. That felt good! <laughs> oh, what a shot! Oh, I'm so competitive. So unbelievable competitive but that was amazing i got revenge i got revenge on garados it's funny because i'm like making such a big deal out of this they're just playing they're just playing the game they probably haven't even realized that like they've taken me out a few times and i'm here like making it like a huge like rivalry between the two of us and they're just happily playing and you know they got taken out once they won't care <laughs> but for me that was mega right let's go and grab oh i'm dropping all my stuff here didn't mean to, to do that uh should i take these yeah, let's take these poison arrows why not and uh, let's go and uh, let's go and see if we can take out. Oh, hello, 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 hello. I don't think Luke knows that I'm behind him, and I don't know where he is. Right, let's uh, let's play it safe then. Let's go for these harming potions to begin with. Then I can uh, do some of these poison arrows and hopefully finish them off. Oh, don't lose now. Not now. Woo! That ended up a little bit closer than I would have liked it to. But hey, I was once again able to, to, to get the, the victory and end the round. But to be fair, my victory happened before the end of the game. And that was when I was able to, to take out Gyarados with that arrow. I know I am not going to top that. So I am going to take my leave. We are done. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode here and probably the last video I'm going to ever do on Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition. So thank you, Minecraft Nintendo Switch uh, Switch Editions, for all of the, the fun times that we've, uh, we've had. Hopefully you enjoyed this video here. There will be, uh, even though no more videos uh, on this edition, more coming up uh, on other editions and uh, other things in the, the future. So stay tuned for what's coming up in the, the future. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!